So what are the diagnostic criteria for uh, um, uh, AKI? So uh, as I said, it is based on two parameters, that is serum creatinine and urine output. The serum creatinine, if there is an increase of 0.3 milligrams per liter, which is usually the um, units that we follow in India, or the international uh, units, that is um, micromoles per liter, more than or equal to 26.5 micromoles per liter within 48 hours, or increase in serum creatinine by more than one and a half times the base, basal serum creatinine of that particular patient which is presumed to have occurred in the prior seven days, then it is uh, considered um, uh, one of the parameters. And urine volume less than 0.5 ml per kilo per hour in six hours. These two are the criteria for, uh, for uh, uh, labeling a patient acute kidney injury. And we will look into, look into various factors which influence these two parameters. So it goes further, just not just the definition. It, uh, the kidney go um, uh, also goes further, staging the um, AKI into three stages: AKI one, two, three. And I um, um, colored yellow on this screen. You can see. So the two parameters: creatinine and urine output. The creatinine, if it is 1.5 to 1.9 times the baseline that is stage one, and stage two, it is between two and 2.9 times the baseline, and stage three, it is, um, um, stage three, it is more than three times, more than or equal to three times, or uh, from the baseline, or creatinine more than four milligrams per deciliter, or more than 354 micro moles per liter, or patient, with treatment uh, with the renal replacement therapy. And in patients with less than 18 years, an estimated GFR of 30, less than 35 uh, ml per minute per 1.73 meter square is considered, um, um, uh, this is divided, useful in dividing into three stages. And your, sorry, and urine output, uh, urine output, in stage one and stage two, it is less than 0.5 ml per kilo per hour for six to 12 hours. Um, and uh, uh, that is stage one and stage two for more than 12 hours. And stage three, more than uh, 24 hours, um, um, less than with point, urine output of less than 0.3 ml per kilo per hour. So if it is a 60 kilo person, if the urine output is less than 18 ml, uh, for more than 24 hours, our patient is anuric for more than 12 hours, you call him AKI stage 3. Okay. And um, what is serum creatinine? And serum creatinine, we all measure it in blood and also it can be measured in the urine. And it is a metabolite of creatine phosphate. And creatine phosphate is synthesized from arginine, uh, arginine and glycine in liver and kidney. And it is a rapidly metabolizable uh, high energy phosphate in skeletal muscle. And as I said, it is uh, a metabolite in the skeletal muscle and it is synthesized by liver and kidney. So any function or any uh, anything related to liver and uh, muscle is, is going to influence the creatinine production. And it is produced at a constant rate in, in a healthy person. And there can be a large and sustained falls in the production um, during critical illness. Uh, if the patient is critically ill in the ICU, the production is reduced uh, and it's not, no more constant. And the other limiting factor for using serum creatinine as a marker of kidney function is, so it takes about 24 to 36 hours before the creatinine starts increasing from the uh, zero point as the renal insult. So if the kidney had an insult now, it may take 24 to 36 hours for the creatinine to go up in the blood. Uh, so there is a definitive time lag between the time of insult, renal insult, and the result that you are looking to see, that is serum creatinine. 
and there is no standardized method of quantifying serum creatinine and uh, endogenous substances like bilirubin and some drugs may interfere with uh, the analytical techniques when we are using the assays method and um, the creatinine we measure the creatinine but we don't get any information about the renal reserve the patient has okay so it, it just it just gives us a mere number and we don't get any information below beyond the kidney function but reserve how much of reserve is left with for this patient we don't know and also there is no information that you can extract from this number about the etiology what caused the kidney injury that you can't get it from the this serum creatinine value and and you don't know which path the patient is is it going to, is he going to get worsened or is the patient is getting better you would not know unless you follow the trends of this creatinine so single value you, you wouldn't know where this patient is standing as far as kidney function is concerned so there are multiple uh, problems as i said so there is a nice table of form in many books so administration of drugs which interfere with tubular secretion of creatinine that would either increase or decrease so serum cimetidine and trimethoprim they interfere with the tubular secretion of creatinine so the serum creatinine would go up in spite of normal renal function and renal production of creatinine is decreased in liver disease kidney disease or muscle wasting and also in sepsis so that you would because the production is reduced you may not be able to see the corresponding increase in serum creatinine even when the kidney function is bad so you, as i said you, you you cannot relate and you may uh, miss the diagnosis or it may take longer time for you to diagnose if the production is reduced and is ingestion of substances like creatinine cooked meat also would increase the generation of creatinine so it would lead to over diagnosis of akii and if there is gfr is increased like in pregnancy you would again delay the diagnosis and um, drugs like uh, cefoxetin and uh, 5 fluorocytosine and bilirubin bilirubin in the blood that would lead to misdiagnosis and delayed diagnosis in akii depending on the substance and fluid registration we measure creatinine as a concentration like milligrams per deciliter and if you had given more fluid for a, for the same patient the, obviously the serum creatinine or any any substance substance in the blood would get diluted and you would uh, miss the actually increase the creatinine value and if there is underlying ckd with increased base, baseline serum creatinine then you would over diagnose akii and same is the uh, uh, case with the extrinsic creatinine administration as a buffer in medications like in dexamethasone or as uh, as clonazepam